day we decided to run off of St. Pete Beach for about 12 miles. In this particular spot, there's a group of World War II tanks that make great artificial reefs for the wildlife here. As I do with every fish that I catch, I immediately brain and then bleed them to dump the hormones so we get the best tasting meat possible. As the day progressed, the murkiness just kept getting worse and worse, so this was going to be my last drop. Fortunately for me, a couple curious cobia decided to sneak up on me while I was laying on the bottom. Even though it wasn't the biggest cobia, I still had to let my partners know that I still had one on the line, just in case. Cobia. I shot a cobia. Yeah. But even though he was fighting, I was able to wrangle him in by myself. <laughs> Looks like we got a little stowaway in my dive pens. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Ah! Come on. Go. Morning, guys. Happy Veterans Day and... Uh, Day, Thanks, buddy. <laughs> So happy Veterans Day guys. Our original plans got kind of kanked because uh, a couple people are sick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple fish and uh, show you how I fillet them. Uh, this was kind of a sort of request, sort of a um, offer to Fishing with Becca. Her link I will paste down below. You should go check her out too. Check her channel out. She does a lot of northeast angling. Hopefully you guys, even if you are experienced, get a little, a few pointers maybe uh, from how I do, how I fillet my fish. First off for the knives that I use, I usually go to these three different um, types of knives. A uh, smaller knife to do the initial cuts of the fillet knife, which is flexible to do the final skinning. And then this thicker kitchen knife, cleaver, to um, you know break through some bone. Another key thing that you need to do is always make sure that your knives are sharp. The two fish we're going to fillet today is the snapper and the cobia. Both have two very different and distinct body profiles, but I'm going to use the same method on filleting for both of them. When filleting a fish, I always make three incisions first. From the top of the head, behind the pectoral fin, all the way down to the pelvic fin. That would be the first incision right there, diagonally. The second incision would be along the midline, behind the anus, to the end of the tail. That would be the second incision. And then the final cut would just be another thin line right along the top of the dorsal spine, all the way to the end of the tail. And here you can see the three cuts that I was talking about. I made the initial cut from the top of the head down to the pelvic fin all the way down to the fish's spine. Then I made a very shallow cut along the bottom all the way to the end of the tail and a similar shallow cut right along the, um, right along the dorsal spine. Um, now I'm gonna do the fillet for the first part of the fish. I made a deep cut with a heavier knife all the way down to the spine. You can hear that hitting the spine there. How I like to start is all work from the top of the fish down. Let the blade do the work. You'll be able to feel the spines along the bone, and all you do, make very light, shallow cuts using the fish's skeleton as a guide. You hear that? That's the knife running across the bones. So I will run this blade the entire length of the fish until I hit the backbone. And you'll know when you get there. Here's the, the spines, and then right there is the backbone of the fish. Now what I'll do is I'll start a small cut along the backbone, and then what I do, I, what I did at the while well, I was making the initial marks, was I cut a hole right at the tail, not completely through, because then I've got a handle I could stick my finger through, take this knife, make sure it's right on the backbone, and then just kind of saw all the way up to where my initial cut was have to cut through some, some more uh, skin there. And that's all organs. And then cut that fillet free. And then we go to the third knife, which I said before, flexes. We're gonna start at the tail, cut down until you hit the skin. The scales on a snapper are pretty thick, so 
that are easy to ride along. Flex the knife so it's flat on the board and just do very easy, very smooth cuts, making sure that skin stays tight. And there you go. First good fillet. And here you have your two boneless, beautiful, skinless fillets. So the snapper's done. That was the easier fish to do since it has a more flatter profile. We're gonna do the cobia next with the exact same method. Uh, the only thing we're gonna do different is because of its shape, we're gonna remove the head first so we have an easier time manipulating uh, not just one side but both sides to get the fillets off. Okay, so um, I got Veronica recording again because I can't really do this while manipulating the camera. I talked about how the body profile is different. As you see on the cobia, it's a much wider, much wider uh, head. So if we left that on while we're trying to fillet it, it's not gonna work. It's just gonna throw everything all, um, all off. So what I like to do is much like tuna, I'll cut at an angle up to the base of the head. Um, again, initial cut down to the spine. And what I like to do is I will remove the entire head, which is basically twist until you hear the spine pop. And, you can... and why I cut the base here is once you remove the top of the head, well, I'm gonna cut the skin away. Once you cut that part loose, you now can clean out all the organs and then reach back there and you scoop everything out. And everything, all the, uh, <laughs> my wife, <laughs> Veronica looks really disgusted right now. So everything, head and organs are all in one easy to dispose of sack. Very clean. Now we'll get to the flame. And there you have it, two beautiful section fillets of cobia, ready to share. And that's about it, guys. That's how I generally fillet fish. It's just something that I practice over, over and over again. Um, and that's the technique I use for the majority of my fish. If this was helpful and you liked it, uh, leave a comment below. If you wanna see more of it, hit like, subscribe. Uh, and if you have a question for me or you wanna see me do something in particular, uh, go ahead, write to me. Um, but appreciate your time watching and thanks for everything you guys do. All right, have a good one. Bye.